This is the infamous Spartan armor from Halo, and it is some of the toughest battle armor in all of video game history. But that's just it. Halo's just a video game, but this is real life. That's right. Over the years, I've made a lot of Halo armor, including the one and only Master Chief. And I've always wondered what would happen if we threw my real life Halo armor up against real video game action. Well, in this video, we're finally doing just that. Today, we will be battle testing real life Halo armor to see how it will hold up against some crazy situations that you will recognize from the game, like getting run over by a warthog, getting shot in the chest by an automatic weapon. And we're even going to test if our armor can hold up to an orbital drop. And if somehow my Halo armor survives all of that, then at the end of this video, we will be blowing him up in the biggest explosion we've seen on this channel that you're definitely not gonna wanna miss. So the Halo armor that we're gonna be destroying, I mean testing today, is our Halo 4 wet work. And god dang, this armor still looks pretty good, especially for something I made literally 10 years ago. This yellow suit has had a pretty um, non-traumatizing life. It's been sitting in storage for the past five years. But Brad, why would you want to battle test perfectly good armor? Well, I've been making Halo armor since I was pretty young. And over the years, I've accumulated a lot of them. I'm an armor hoarder and I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> but instead of throwing this old armor away, we're gonna send them out in the most honorable way possible. With a bang. And speaking of bangs, it's time for our first scenario. Okay, so our first scenario is replicating a Spartan getting absolutely obliterated by a warthog. Now we don't have a warthog. So we found the next best thing. This is my friend Adam and he makes demolition derby cars. Demolition Derby cars are made to smash into each other. And today, this Demolition Derby car is going to smash into our Spartan at full speed to simulate getting splattered by a warthog. I think we're just gonna cut her right in half. Maybe the legs go under and the top of the half come in. But first things first, who's gonna wear our armor? Well, it is my honor to introduce you to Jim. I promise you it's not what you think it is, Adam. No, 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 no. <laughs> can you stop filming me so I can blow this up? With the armor strapped onto our boy Jim and his legs staked into the ground, it was time to put the pedal to the metal and uh, run over Jim. I think she's warmed up now. I'm gonna try to hold it to the floor, send him out of here. He's ready to go. You've been a good dummy, Jim. But, uh, oh God, Lord, Chief, come on, man. All right, baby. Let's do this thing. Yeah, baby, yeah. It's been a nice ride. See you on the other side, buddy. Oh my God, this is intense. He's wrapped up on the rear end of drive shaft. Yeah, something's underneath there. Dude, oh no! Oh, there's the arm! We're finding him. You know, I, I think it's a little worse than what I almost expected. The armor's here. And I guess the rest of them's underneath your car. Oh no! This pile of parts is pretty insane. Yeah, I guess it's safe to say that the armor didn't hold up. Who would have thunk? Jim! Now we're gonna need to find a new gym. You're not gonna have very many applications for that position. Yeah. Considering this armor just got smashed by a car, it doesn't look all that bad. The front and the back of the torso was separated upon on impact, but I just glued it together in like two seconds. Other than that rip, there's really not too much more damage on this torso. What? And since Jim is a little uh, deflated at the moment, I have made Jim 2.0. I predict Jim 2.0 will see a similar fate as Jim 1.0. <laughs> just wait until you see what's coming next. Spam RIP Jim in the comments. Well, thanks Adam for dis destroying Jim. Now we're gonna go drop this thing out of a helicopter. <laughs> and with helicopters and explosions still ahead, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks, a free-to-play game for PC with over 100 million Million players worldwide. World of Tanks has more than 600 tanks, destroyers, artillery, and light, medium, and heavy tanks, so that there is always a new way to play. You can drive your tanks over open fields and desert, climb steep hills, sneak through forests, and play your matches in urban or industrial zones. There are over 40 different arenas to play. World of Tanks has created their game around historical accuracies and inspiration, which means that when you play this game, you actually feel like you're inside of the tank. You can earn experience and modify and upgrade your tank, and create a steel beast ready for any challenge. So, if there was any time to start playing World of Tanks, now would be that time. Download World of Tanks using the first link in my description. And during the registration, use the code TANKMANIA to get a free 7-day premium account, 250,000 credits, the premium tank Acelsor Tier 5, and 3 tank rentals for 10 battles each, the Tiger 131 Tier 6, the Cromwell B Tier 6, and the T34-85M Tier 6 tank. Thanks again to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Please check them out in the description to help support our channel. Now it's time for Scenario 2. In Halo 3, Master Chief re-entered Earth's atmosphere by literally jumping out of his own ship. In-game, Master Chief survived that impact. And I want to replicate that. Obviously, we can't drop a suit of armor from space, but with the help of Flight Tulsa, we're gonna drop Jim 2.0 out of a helicopter. Replicating an orbital drop. Science! <laughs> Come in! Are you guys ready to make Jim 2.0 fly? Oh my god! Oh 
three, two, one! Ah! Oh my god! Oh, he's down! He's down! Rest in peace! Oh, no. oh, his head popped. Wow. Oh, dude. Under normal circumstances, that's not a great thing. Should have worn a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Check for pulse. Yeah, I think he could be revived. <laughs> this guy just survived a drop out of a helicopter. And I can't believe we actually just did that. But I'm actually really surprised with how Jim is. I mean, I see a very damaged Spartan, but I still see a Spartan. So I guess Master thought. Chief can fall from that's a very right. high distance. Yeah, Jim 2.0 maybe popped, but his days are not over yet. Now it's time for another scenario that involves Firearms. Yay, firearms. I'm so happy you're alive. Ugh. Next, we headed to USSA Shooting Academy to really put this armor to the test. I can see the rigor mortis is set in. <laughs> Inevitably, we're gonna be de destroying this armor. That's kind of the whole premise behind this video, subtly. Everything that we've done so far has been child's play. Right now, we're taking it up a notch. We're gonna shoot it with guns. That's right. We all know what shooting Halo armor looks like in the game, but we're about to find out what shooting an actual Spartan with real life weaponry looks like right now. <laughs> he's my size. Oh, he's, he's a little taller than you, Steven. Oh man. So we're gonna start out small. With with a SIG P320. And then we're moving it on to something a little bit bigger, an AR-15. And then, this part was not expected, but we have two automatic Uzis that we're gonna be shooting at, at Jim. See where I'm going? I don't think he's gonna survive any of this. And then I have a bullpup shotgun. I was most excited about this one until he brought the Uzis out. So thank you, USSA Shooting Academy. You guys are the best. My prediction is that he's going to kind of go bye-bye. He's kind of bye-bye right now. <laughs> Jim, I haven't known you. I missed pretty much your entire life. Sorry about that. You know, I, I hope you make some good content. Jim will never die. You don't think so? Never. I believe in you. Wow. All right, let's start off with the pistol. Dang. Wow, yeah, they're right there. Exactly. Yeah, I guess uh, that armor does not really work too well. No, uh-uh. Well, that didn't do very much. Moving on to the AR-15. Gosh, he's leaking! Why is he yeah. oh, no. We made Jim wet himself. He's scared. I feel so bad. Yeah, the exit ones are tiny. The expanded foam's coming out. <laughs> well, he's gonna be really scared after they see this. tore through that armor like it was nothing. That'll do it. Wow, why is that one so much larger? Or like three of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, it's probably true. Okay, now it's time for our final weapon, the 12 gauge shotgun. Shotgun, shotgun, off with his head. Pretty specific on that one. <laughs> Look at his chest, dude. His chest is open. Look at his legs! The carnage is everywhere. A piece of armor shot all the way back here. Look how far away. This whole experience kind of went uh, like I thought it was going to go. And I think it's safe to say that no, real life Halo armor will not stop a bullet or a shotgun or anything at all, actually. Bumblebee's really sad now. Bumblebee self delete. It's okay, buddy. And we all knew that, but now that we have proof, it's time for the finale of our video. That's right. It's finally time to blow up Jim 2.0 in the biggest explosion we've seen on this channel using one of my favorite things ever exploding targets and a huge thanks to my friend Levi for letting us use his land for this epic send-off I mean, I'm getting that warm tingly feeling we're like about to blow stuff up Jim's seen better days it's like Humpty Dumpty except all the men can put him back together again I feel like this is some weird sacrifice <laughs> no, no 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 that's not what this is <laughs> stop dancing this is the sacrifice to the algorithm and speaking of the algorithm we're so so close to hitting 1 million subscribers as of right now so if you haven't already like this video and subscribe but before we send Jim sky high Let's start off with something a little smaller. I don't think there's really a benchmark out there for you guys at least to know how big 15 pounds of tannerite is. So what I'm thinking we do is we put a little itty bitty piece of tannerite between old Jimmy Bo's legs. I can't have anticipate one leg to go one way and the other leg to go another and the torso to go up. You give yourself willingly, correct? Okay, I take your silence <laughs> for yes. So one pound of tannerite, let's do it. <laughs> All right, Jimbo. I hope you fly very high. Bye. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, is everybody ready? All right, Levi, fire! <laughs> that was one single pound. Dude! Oh, my gosh! Look at that crater. Wow. Yeah, that was one pound. We're about to do 15. Yeah, he's fine. Just a flesh wound. 
All right, let's blow him up for real now. <laughs> We're gonna be sending old Jim to meet his maker. I need to stop using maker. Maker's the wrong term, because I'm I'm the maker. He's already met me. He regrets meeting you, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we can do this to you when you get old. This'll be good. <laughs> Jim, it's been a nice long ride. Thank you for everything, buddy. So guys, I gotta level with you. At this point in the video, <laughs> surprisingly enough, I started getting a little emotional, and here's why. I made this yellow suit over Christmas break in my parents' house in 2012, and I wish I could explain the feeling that I had when I was making this suit. I was just chasing that high of making something from nothing, and I still chase that high whenever I make things and, and make videos, but I don't think the feeling has ever been that intense as it was when I was making this suit. To me, this suit represents a time period of pure bliss, and it also represents the start of something awesome, the start of this channel, and the start of many incredible friendships. But I don't need this armor to remember this time period in my life. And that is a very important thing to realize. So yes, today we say goodbye to this halo armor, but I will always cherish the memories that went along with it. Everything's recording, we're all recording. Recording. Woo, okay. I'm nervous. Okay, Levi. Fire in three, two, one. Gone now. And just like that, Jim and the yellow suit was no more. And I couldn't think of a better way to say goodbye. So Jim, thanks for the memories, and uh, thank you for the new closet space. Wow, you guys did a great job picking up all of Jim's body parts. Yeah, this is really... Well, today, Jim made the ultimate sacrifice, and because of that, I encourage you to subscribe. That dummy died for you. And you know what? <laughs> you can even hit that bell icon, because then you get to see these videos right when they come out. <laughs> so, right. Chief, your arm there is looking kind of worn out. Brad, you got any more tanner? We might need to... Wait, 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 hey, no, come back! Just kidding! We need you for another video! <laughs> and you are my best friend forever.